Are you ready? Hi, it's Karen. And Tim. From Stamping on the Back Porch. Welcome to another Facebook Live. It's turned on kind of different than normal. It didn't count down the same way. So hopefully you're at the right place. So you'll see if it shows up at the other. And meanwhile, we'll get started. We're going to start because we have... Stamping on the Back a Porch. A few cards, yes. We'll, we'll see if we're in the right place. <laughs> and otherwise, we'll just, you know... <laughs> We've done this before. Stop and start over. We, we. <laughs> yeah, my tech guy's going to take responsibility. So today we're going to be doing, we're going to be playing with some of the new coordination product releases. These are things you can buy starting February. I think we're in the right place. Oh, good. We're in the right place. And we have people on. That's always wonderful. So this is what we're going to be playing with. But first, we, we have... A couple of cards, Tim. So let's We've got, look at mail. What? We've got mail? Oh, they're all for me. Okay. Okay, so I don't know. You can join me if you want. Karen Baldwin from Iowa. We just love getting cards. And you know what we're going to be gone for a month? Our mail is going to be held. Held. So if we come back really tired and just don't have enough to do, oh boy, we'd love to have to find some cards and we could do a whole show of cards. <laughs> There's where we go. That's going to be the thing I look forward to coming home. Isn't that true? Oh, is that beautiful? This is from one of my downline thanking me for the gratefulness journal. This is kind of throwback time. Love this. Isn't this great? And I love the words going down. And she did the inside. She put a little heart on top. Really a darling card. Linda Holtkamp from Texas. Oh, and... Look at that. She did an, I'm going to show you the inside too. Look at uh, strip cards, what you can just do with designer series paper and then coordinating on the inside and the words in the middle. Isn't that a great layout? You know, and we always have those bits of paper. So it's a great way to use that. And Janine Peabody from Ohio. Oh, I love the words. I think of you and smile. Oh, that's a great thing to put on a, <laughs> that's a great thing. And our lovely, lovely frosted paper that is coming back in the fall. That is beautiful. And she decorated the inside too. I read them all later, but thank, oh, she, that's another thank you for the journal. Oh, I'm always surprised to get thank yous. I uh, sometimes think it's a lost art. And you know, it is up to us to keep the post office alive and to bless people's day by thanking them for things or just letting them know we're thinking of them. The last thing I wanted to share, this is for the greeting card ladies. <laughs> and this is really the Monday Mavens. Um, and I was just forgetting to show this in the summer. I haven't shown it to them either, so I put it out. <laughs> but I had a garage sale and I'd advertised that I had stamp sets. And a guy came back that works with this ministry and asked if we would ever be willing to make cards for any of their events to um, just to give out for whatever, or even to thank volunteers. And I said, yes. So he asked us, they were doing, so this is a really nice letter and a photo we got back. It's all about family.org organization. And they did at Father's Day. So they did this big picnic and it was a celebration of families honoring fathers. They also honored every veteran active military member who happened to be there. And everything is done 100% by donation. You know, they have donations out, but anyone can come for free and have the the um, the meal with them. So they do this four times a year. And then I know he works with kids in groups in between those kinds of things. And so this is a way of getting their families involved. And so he specifically asked for men's cards because they were um, going to be doing something for all the fathers that were present. So we made, I didn't, but some of the women in our group made a whole stack of men's cards for them. And I thought that is really cool. Uh, in the picture, he says, we were asking who is six years old. Oh, and then all the six year olds came up and did things. We had a really nice time. We look forward to having you involved again in the future. I just wanted to share that because it's just fun. Sometimes there are things that we can offer that people might not have even thought about for a group doing something, you know, uh, to just kind of offer to make cards or something. But I thought that was a great idea. And it was really nice that they sent this nice thank you. And then the last thing, we're going to do the new coordinating products uh, that you can start ordering February. So that's, is that, is that Sunday? Is that Super Bowl Sunday? Is that the first? Uh, tomorrow is. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know. But whenever well, it is. I'll, I'll look. <laughs> 
But don't want to forget, this is the, and so it'll be a new host code. But for this month, for anyone who hasn't Saturday, ordered. Saturday's the first. Saturday's the first. So I, I, okay, so on Saturday, there will be a new host code. For now, the host code is still 9ZEU6E47, which you can always find by going to KarenTitus.com. And the card kit this month includes this darling, you know, this is what you get free with the $50 order. You get three cards that you can put together. You use any words you have. All the other pieces are cut and ready to put together. So um, there will be a new card kit for July. But remember, if you do six months in a row, then you get to pick a free stamp set for me. So... Uh, oh, two more announcements. You want to make sure you go to my website, karentitus.com or stampingonthebackporch.com. They both go to the same place and vote for your favorite out of the 12 or 13 or however many Valentine cards are on there. We are going to send out eight of the cards to eight different people who voted just for the fun of it. So you'll have a chance of getting an early Valentine card. So we'll announce the winners on Monday. And my last comment... Uh, okay, I'm just getting distracted, is we start traveling next Tuesday. So Wednesday morning, we are going to be at a Starbucks in Raytown, which is Kansas City, Missouri, that area, but somewhere around there, I will put it up. So any of you in the Kansas City area, we would love to meet you that morning, if at all possible. We are staying in the Raytown area, so that's why um, we'll meet somewhere there. But, and I will put out a separate posting about that, and then we'll list the other postings that we're doing. On Saturday, we are going to a uh, class with my downline in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And if, you know, if there's anyone else in Albuquerque, we would love to meet you. We, you know, we can meet afterwards, um, but I'd also love to have you meet my downline there if you're looking at all for classes in that area. So how fun is that? Okay, we will get started. Hey. All right. <laughs> Rebecca says, do you know how hard it is to choose a favorite? Yeah, isn't that fun? Oh, and it helps us to know kind of why it's your favorite. It doesn't matter. You don't need to, but it's always kind of fun to read those. <laughs> okay, this is wonderful, and we will get started. I'm going to put this down. And yes, I am packing up Facebook Lives to take along, which is kind of amazing for me to plan ahead. Next Thursday, we will be on the road at this time. So... We're going to make it evening instead, but I will put out announcements that day so you won't miss it. We'll do 7 o'clock at night so that way we can get to a hotel. In the winter, it's just way too hard to find a place. So first, I'm going to show the couple things that I'm not going to make a project with. Oh, those of you who are loving the ladybug. Remember, this is free with a $300 order. And yes, it can be your own $300 order or you can collect orders and you'll make it you know, and get it. So it is the only way to get this. Can I show something? Mm -hmm. We have a whole piano bench. Well, but I have and projects this, here, too. And this is how much room I have. Yeah, got. I know. But it's because yeah. I have projects over here. I'm sitting in the middle because I haven't invited you to join me yet. Oh, okay. I I'll move when, when you're invited, okay? Okay. okay. <laughs> and I haven't put mine together because I just haven't used it. But the ladybug dies cut out all these things, so I had to show an adorable card with it. This is... Created by the Cow Whisperer. And I don't know who that is. So, Somebody um, in Wisconsin, maybe. I don't know. But how cute is this? And I love the, how she did these little, <laughs> little ladybugs inside. <laughs> the finishing touch, you know. But isn't this fun? So you can see how you can cut out the flower, the ladybugs. There must be these little grass parts. I just think this is really a lovely card. And I love the saying, hey, lady. It's my favorite saying in there. So <laughs> that is one product. I see. The next one is the framelits to go with this special someone. Mm. And so, you know, I, I use this, so we made a card out of this, but now there are framelits. And so you can make here is a really, really sweet card made out of this. Isn't this, you know, this be a, a cute, even little baby card. It looks, it's just an adorable little thing. So you can see, you can cut out the balloon. You can cut out the raccoons. If you can get past your you know, thing with raccoons. But I like how this is stamped in the smoke, the dark gray and then colored in with the smoky slate. I think that's a really fun combination. And then these colors are just so interesting. See, I would never put these two colors together and they really work. I really like them. It looks like balmy blue and coastal cabana. And then the little ways. So I just thought that really fun card. And this is Laura Mulligan. And now we'll start creating. 
So the first one, now on Monday night, you know, I do chatting over cards. So just letting you know a preview. Monday night, I'm going to show a whole bunch of cards that use these stamp sets and the framelits, kind of everything more about this. So today we're just kind of covering some basics. This is, of course, one of the celebration sets, and it's just a lovely set. And now how fun to add these parts. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just making a basic card. I'm using, I use the soft settles here, which is my most used favorite backwards, embossing folder. Backwards card. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, I, it, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> the dies are available for customers starting Saturday. So this is all just a little preview for Saturday. Refold that a little bit better. Okay. So you're so, actually playing to the audience. Yes, I'm, I'm trying to learn Very from Tim because he Very does good. this. We'll see how far I get. Okay, so this is, and this is one of the quickest ways of coloring. I love coloring this way. This is with a blend, and you see I've just gone around the edges. I haven't filled it in, haven't done any shading, anything. So this is the die cut, and then this is also a die cut. So now I have a silver platter. Do you see I have a couple more of those in there? I'm going to leave them because one of the looks that's really popular is to not worry if some are left in. Sometimes I go through and I make sure everyone's cut out. But, you know, the cool thing is it doesn't matter. It's artsy. It's called rationalization. Yeah, but it's also if you've ever done something and there's a couple that just don't want to come out, they didn't quite use it because it's a look. So we're going to go for that. Now you'll notice if I put this on, I need to cut this off first. So hoping I have a scissors because I don't know if my tearing... Would you know where to find a scissors, Tim? Yes. Oh, I found one. Yes, right there. Yes. Okay. I have stuff all over because, of course, we're getting ready for the weekend retreat. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put this on first. I'm going to kind of see because this is taller now. So I think I'll just put it right here. Then I'm going to put this on and then I'm going to use my my little um, pad here so that none of this stays if I, it won't ruin my paper. If I have any extra little snail, I can just brush it right off before I put it on. Oh, it's the fourth, according to the double page. Thank you, thank you. See, I need to have people, because you're right, because they wouldn't start something on a weekend, would they? Because of how busy they are when a new thing comes. So that would make sense. That's why it will be on a weekday. So um, it, it's a good thing you guys stay on top of things that I don't, because you know. Now, how cool is this? Now this suddenly really looks like a, a wedding card to me. Okay, and so now the flower part cuts out the flowers like this. So one thing you can do is color these in and then just raise it. So that's a really pretty look. We're gonna do something else. I took these three and cut them apart. I just cut this one off. I didn't care about this one to because uh, I just was going to pop up these two because they're more on top and this one's kind of more in the background anyway. So I just cut them apart and now I am going to color. So if you notice for coloring, I'm being, I'm being very sloppy and very quick because I don't really care. It's the look of what I'm doing. So th this is another reason I just love doing this because it's really carefree. Plus she's, I'm, I'm her role model. <laughs> I don't know if you're speedy at no, but anything. You like to make, oh, sloppy. sloppy. Okay, I was just no. going to say, Tim likes to take his time. <laughs> slow, and debate all of life's I'm options. I'm slow and sloppy. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so, and then I have, so that was the balmy blue, which is the, the light, which is the same as my background color. And this one is the light granny green. Now, if I wanted to color these in and do accents, I could just use the darks of these two to go with them and that would be perfect. But since I'm just going for quick and easy, I love that there's just so many different ways of coloring. And now you can see I have two of these and they could just be popped up. But here's what I did instead. I decided I wanted to Kind of just make them really kind of fun and different. So this is what I did. I just mushed it up. So now I've given you three options, but we're going to end because there's no going back after this one. <laughs> so. Ooh, some, okay, and then I am going to just use glue dots for this. I'm 
don't think I got it on. Let's try again. I just like to press it down on my glue dots and let's just find the right. Now, I wanted the one colored underneath because you don't know, see, you can kind of see underneath there too. But I just think this makes like a, this is like a shabby chic look, but it's just really, I think, a very cool look. And do you see how it gives dimension to the card? So, so this is a really fun way to use this. So that's that one. And then we're going to move along to, I love the stamp set. And I'm going to have to play with it more. I just haven't had time to play with it. But I have some beautiful cards made with it that I will be sharing on Monday, which is gorgeous, which is really fun. So what I did was I just wanted to show it because now it's got the dies. You know, dies just make things go further. And there are plenty of dies in here that stand alone. We've got this cute, look at these leaves. The little butterflies, this, some leaves there. And this is a great, um, see this frame? It's got stitching all around. So what I did was I just stamped and put out a few pieces and thought, we'll just make a really simple card to just show that these are fun to play with. But I only used a few of these. So again, that is really a great stamp set. And we're going very simple. We're not even lying them again. Yeah, Tim's sister Mary's on here. She said she's still taking more naps. A year tomorrow since she, she had a bunch of little brain bleeds. Little, um, so they'd be like strokes. And I thought, you know, it is interesting because that's what, you know, Tim had that, had that his stroke in August. So I said, you guys, I don't know. It's kind of become a family thing. You know, Mary, everything doesn't have to be a family thing. <laughs> okay, so I was just trying to figure out what I could do with this. And I just thought I'm just going to do two colors. Okay, so I'm going to... This isn't a typical color for a flower, but I just didn't want it too busy because I thought I would do something like putting this on, uh, you know, and for putting little things like this on, I like to, this is still my favorite way. And you see, I could do a whole bunch of these because I'll just put this up in the corner and then I'll have different places. Okay, so if you didn't catch, I'm going to use it again on another card. But this multi-purpose glue, I really don't think I can do that, dries clear. So that's what's perfect. So it won't matter if I have some extra on here. And that, okay, I, I really didn't plan this out. Okay, but I'm going to just put this on somewhere. Now, believe me, I'll show you some prettier cards on, on my day. <laughs> but with all my racing around, sometimes it's fun to just see. Okay, this is how we'll real quick put something together. I'm going to lay this on top, kind of going off the edge. And then I did two butterflies because I didn't know which color. You know, they always say three accents are good, but I just didn't know if it was going to start looking too busy. Nah, I think I like the blue. And, of course, I could... I could do this, we could make this, sure, let's do this. And we'll, so to make this stick up a little more, I'm just gonna squeeze the glue dot, and I already messed that up, but I'm just gonna squeeze it and then put it on, because then at least we have a little height. And actually, going back, I'm gonna give this a little height, because I don't like how this is laying down. Okay, so see, now we'll just change as we go along. I'm going to put, I do not have my mini glue dots out here, which would be the best thing to use. So I will do the old, cut a couple in half. That's what we used to do. And sometimes I need things that are so small, I'll do that even with the, the mini glue dots. I don't know if anyone else does it in those small. Okay, oh, and I better put one on the end there. One more. Okay. <laughs> Lori says her husband came home and she automatically wants to pause the video. Oh, that's so funny. And he can't do it when it's live. That's how you know when you're on live. <laughs> they can. <laughs> can't they? When you watch it, not live. Oh, I mean, you can, but you miss it. Then you're not live anymore. You can always catch the replays. <laughs> Semantics, Tim. Okay, now I have to cover where I 
left that glue so it'll go back on the front. Okay, so now I've just added a little dimension and okay, it's not my favorite card, but it's just showing how we just think this true because now I have some favorite cards to show you, okay? So I saved the my favorite for last. Let me clean that little sheet off for you. Mm, I think we're I think we're I fine. Enjoy. I'm used to a mess. I enjoyed doing that. These dies are just really different and fun and they're meant to go with these words i'm just saying that but you know they can go with anything but these are just really i always like new things that you can put words in and then these are little flowers and this is this big thing so we're going to do a few things with this let's put it in brown so you can see it better okay Tim knows how to make things go slower because, you know, it, I speed through life and he's always trying to get me to slow down. So here he is. <laughs> so let me see what we should do first. Okay. This is going to be our first card. So this is what this looks like. Oh, there. That's, that's you. That works. Here, you can actually put those in there. Look at that. How fun is that? And then I did both of the little sets of flowers. So I'm just using some bright colors that let's just make this a fun so, Karen, spring card. Tell, yes? Tell them why I was crawling around on the floor this morning. Well, one of our dyes went missing and Tim is the finder. And he found it. <laughs> so well, that's what we call him the finder. And I just dropped. And you know, he has much more trouble getting up off the floor than I do. So it's unfortunate that I'm not the finder, but I just can't seem to find things. So, <laughs> so. <laughs> so anyway, these stand alone. I'm going to show a few things to do with these. I think um, I could use the two-way glue. I'm just going to use, I'm just going to use glue dots. But you know, you can put these on with a variety of things. And then I'm just going to match. This is like matching. I'm just gonna match the one they go on. I thought that is just so so pretty. Let me see here what else we want. I'm gonna do red tulips and yellow on the other flowers. So this one, I'm not sure if they're even the right sizes, but it doesn't really matter. And let's see another little one you can see it isn't really even gonna matter how I do these I'll see how far we get on these I might be missing ones that's okay we might have a yellow tulip in here that's okay too it's all a mix and match it did stick so we're okay we'll put that one down there okay and I'm gonna take a yellow one now I'm gonna go back and put in a little rhinestone or something and then I don't have to worry because right now it is going to have uh, the glue thing right there. So I just want you to know that, that that is going to be taken care of. But right now I can just put them on quickly this way. So we'll do that one and this one. Yes, demonstrators can, can buy the die now. If, if those of you who can't wait <laughs> till Tuesday, but, uh, <laughs> but you know, we always got to get a plug in for that because... Boy, this is the best time ever to get the starter kit. And I did a whole little video on why. So love to have you watch that if you haven't seen it yet. And then you can call me. And I'll be available by phone. I will be um, available by Tim's cell phone. I'll put it in the newsletter or something when we're traveling. And I pick up messages, but not often enough. So it's going to be better to reach me by a Facebook message or or um, or Tim's cell, if that makes sense. It is a little hard to do two things at once. So I don't know that I'll actually finish this. Let me do just a couple more here. And then I'll move on to the next technique because I will put these on the blog this weekend. And then I put a little notice up on the Facebook page when it is on the blog. But I wanted to show you, but isn't that fun? So here is one way of adding and I just think what a bright fun card uh, um yeah Rebecca that's great she said it's a must-have she's not waiting like last time to miss out <laughs> but isn't that a fun card okay so now we're going to try it a different way we are going to you want to put these inside of this uh no you can just actually 
they're they're just fine. Oh, I guess I have more little dies down here. I didn't know, so I have lots to I have lots to pick from because I made more. They're okay. I'll, I'll <laughs> my desk looks like this. I'll see. Now, I will finish these so we can take photos. One really nice thing about video is that white on white. White on white looks really really, really, really good. good. Okay, so I wanted to show another fun way of coloring. Oh. Sure gonna... See, there is a plan, so now you yes. will see it. All right. So with this, I am going to, again, I just put this on the paper. This is the die. And this time I'm going to just sponge. So I'm going to start with the flowers. And, you know, I'm sponging and I'm not caring. It's not going to be dark and I don't care. I'm just using blue and green. So I don't need to be really fussy. I love using the sponge daubers. And I can just kind of put these on their side like that a little bit to get it. Okay, so there's some blue. And again, I'm using Balmy Blue. So this time I'm going for really a pastel -y spring look. S sponge daubers reminds her of her childhood when she used to use a thimble for sewing. That's right. Ooh, I did. I don't even know if I know how to use a thimble anymore, but you quilters and you, you know, you guys must still use them. I haven't quilted in so many years. But then I had switched to, I had a leather. Leather instead of the old thimble. Who uses, the, what do you use the old thimble? You know, we have the... The one that fit over your cover. Some of you must have that. So here's green. And now with the green, I'm going to start just going around the bottom first, kind of around the circle. And, you know, sponging is such a soft look, and it really doesn't matter if things go out of the lines. And then where in the parts like this, I'm just going to put it on its side again and just do the best I can. And I won't mind if it's... No, this does not need to be perfect by any means. I can just kind of slide that in. But look how pretty this is. And this is pretty easy. Oh, Francis, you had a knee replacement. Yeah, so you're taking water therapy. Is, oh, is that helping? You have to lose weight. Oh, you need a knee replacement. Oh, and you need to lose weight first. Oh, is that, that is a killer. Where's the blue one? That, it's That flower knee's right there. Well, it's okay because I did another it's, one, Tim. Oh, you did? I think it's a killer to have to lose weight because you're also pretty immobile when you have a bad knee. So, oh, we feel for you. But I'm gonna show you what I did with this one now. So this is how it started. So this one's already sponged in. And then I thought, what would happen with this edging if I wanted to cut through that? So here's what I did. And it might look a little putsy, but it really doesn't take all that long. I'm just kind of folding this back. And then I am just going through here and snip, 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 snip. So, okay, so people are gonna send prayers to you. And Rebecca, you had that done in April and, and you're doing well. Oh, I know, it's amazing what they can do now with, with uh, knees and hips and But, you know, it's always fun to be on the other side of surgery. We know that. Okay, so any anytime, you know, it's so much harder to do this when you're being filmed. So I'm just going to cut that off so it's a little easier to see. But you see, I'm just coming through here. This is just really actually very easy to do. So if I were going to do a bunch of these, it's another having the TV on. Because I'm always only half watching anyway. Tim will ask a question about the plot line, and I'll always say, do you think I'm watching? I mean, I'm just not really. I can't answer any questions. <laughs> okay, but there. So this is going to go on my card like this. And I just think, isn't that a fun spring look? I don't know what else I'll do to finish it up, but I thought, oh, that's another just fun thing to do so with how this. You, how do you glue that down? So now to glue this down, oh. I am going to use this, and this will take this whole thing. Yes. This is my silicone mat and my two-way glue, my multi-purpose glue, which I must get more of, <laughs> as I am just draining the end out of this. And I do not have a full bottle waiting for me like I do sometimes. And I'm just going to go around. I don't think you'll need it. I'm 
got enough there. When this dries, I can rub it off so it will just peel off, kind of like the old Elmer's glue if you ever put it on your hand and you wait for it to come off. And now here's the tricky part to see if I can get my flowers on straight. Otherwise, I'll just say it was a very windy day. Okay, well, how fun is that? Now I can add words or something, you know, and finish decorating however I want. So the finished card will go up on my blog. But, um, but I think that's um, a fun thing to, to do with that. And then I have one more here to show. And then Tim is going to show one with this. This time I did another one in the green. And I thought, so I put sending a little something. And this is one of the dies and one of the words from there. And I thought this would be a perfect thing if you're sending a little gift card or uh, tucking in pictures, you know, for um, anyone else. So I thought I was just going to make this very simple card. So this time, what I'm going to do is just cut off a few of these. And let's see which ones I want to cut off. I'm going to take some of the tall ones because I could make a few cards of these, but I don't want... Yeah, I think, okay, that could that's good together. You know, they say three's a good number, so I think, well, but so, so's five. Let's see. Uh, if I go along with this, see, this is thinking as we go. Might I want four? You know what? I'm going to go with three. I really envision this as being just super simple. It's really so attached this to five. is, you are attached to five. Oh, I'm sorry, Tim, get over it. <laughs> On your card when you do this. Yeah. Uh, and this way I could get a couple of these done. So, again, I'm going to put this on here. And I'm going to have to find some little places that aren't, that haven't been used up yet. But see, I can do that. Those look pretty good. And I'm going to do the same with these. Whoops, better move that one away. That one is just wants to be in the middle of everything, so I will go ahead and put this one on. Pounding like Tim, but with a gentle touch. Oh, and I can see, I can see right here, I need to cut this a little more after cutting it from the other, there's a little. So I'll just do that. Find a little more there to Stick it all on, but I'll just pick up from the other parts. Okay, that should do. And I will add this, and I have my... Look at that, Tim. I'm pounding. That's very... I know. I like that. It's a okay. good technique. So here's going to be... This is going to be my sending a little something. But, of course, before, I need to put on these... Um these flowers again. Here's my glue dots. Now, you know, it's interesting because now I do have a little glue on my hands. We'll see if they're, <laughs> they're just sticky. So we'll see if I have any trouble with this. I can help. Oh, that's the wrong size. I need the biggest, big size. So if I'm going to make a bunch of these cards, you know, I think having some of these little flowers on hand would just be just a, just a great thing. Okay, let me, okay. That one's that. Okay, and then let's do a couple of yellow tulips. I'll do one like this. You know, it's so fun to just think of doing a couple spring cards. So I'm just, that's part of, I think, what really appealed to me about this. And you know, one of the things I am looking forward to in going south is being able to sit outside and read and work on the computer and do all that kind of thing. And then on this, I think we're gonna pop this one up. Soak up the rays. And, you know, I may or may not add some bling. You know, I'll look at this before I, before I post it, you know, because then I put the other ones, but I'm kind of just showing you the work in progress here. Oh, good, that wasn't a, I wanna see just, Oh, now, now if I think about this, okay, I think this white is a little longer than I'd like it to be. Okay, so I am going to cut a little bit off. And that'll work fine, except I have to take this off since that didn't work so fine. Stick it there and add another one. 
Yes, these flowers would be adorable with a raccoon and squirrel. Yes. And uh, you just think of all the different things, you know, that flowers are just so good for. Now, I may add a little bling to this, but I really like how sweet and simple it is. And I actually might have even chosen to cut off a little more. But we'll leave it. We'll leave it for now because, you know, good enough. Right, right now, I, can I, I could mess it up by doing more. Can I say something about squirrels? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. We had a squirrel in our backyard this morning that was, like, blonde. It was weird. It was beautiful. And I've seen albino squirrels and brown squirrels. There's yours. Mm -hmm. And there's mine. And I've never seen kind of an in-between one, a blonde one. Yeah, so a blonde squirrel. I don't know. Is there a special word for those? Some of you might know every time we put out a nature we question, it seems that. like. Mm, let's see. No. I think. I like brown. Um, well, you're going to watercolor, so I think. Oh, I'm going to watercolor? Yes. Um, oh, that, oh, yes, I'm going to watercolor. So, yes. Uh, I, so, so, yeah, yeah, so yes, you, you are going to want to use I'm that. I'm pretending that I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I, of I, course I, think... I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Has this been folded? I guess not. So when, when in doubt, folding this way isn't so bad. Where's, oh, you know what? We took our... No. Oh, here's a here's your bone folder Tim, still yes. here. I took mine in the other room. So it's just so nice. You actually can fold. When paper goes this way, you are going with the grain. This does not work if you've cut the long way, so that's four and a quarter by six, because then you're going again. You can feel it, because you see this sort of folds. That's one thing I learned being so, mar married with married to Karen is going with the grain. Go with the grain. It's not worth it going. And then to see how I can do that, and you can still get a nice fold. So Very just nice. another... Um, Very nice. Thank you. Okay. Now, do I... Glue this on last? Yeah. Yes. I, I don't want to make a mistake or anything. No. Okay. And see how pretty that is? And I don't think I'm going to do anything else. Black and white's always striking. Yes, black and white is always striking. No, I'm going to do something else. Watch this. This is, this is so fun. Tim loves doing messy projects. So, I do. you know, I always give him those if we can. So, <laughs> Kathy, you have a blonde squirrel hanging around our yard. Is like that? Oh, blondes do have more fun, Tim. <laughs> oh, and black ones, too. It's interesting, the variety. Yeah, black, well, I guess yeah. we have plenty. Black, albino, some. regular. So are, are, yeah. are blonde squirrels kind of the same in popularity as albino and black? I mean, I have no idea. Are they all just kind yeah. of unusual? Because we always okay. we usually have the brown ones, you know? Now, I think I'm going to use this. And what is that called, Tim? Um, a water dispenser. Mm-hmm. a little too light. I think I better put some ink on it. Okay, this paper is special. It's the shimmery cardstock. So I said it can get wet, not horribly wet, like uh, horribly wet. Like The watercolor is kind of an in-between, but it works good for laying around color. Okay. You know, it's, it's much better than just the regular. Now this is why I have this. So I said today he could go for really dense colors if he wants to. So he's using Pacific Blue, Real Red, and uh, Pineapple Punch, I think. <laughs> you think? Whatever yellow I could find. <laughs> yeah, no, I wanted it to be bright. So, I'm, yep. Is that this one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I always claim that I don't know. Now, in my mind, I was envisioning like a night sky and kind of the sun setting, but um, I think abstract and just really delightful is fun too. I think it is. <laughs> so it's kind of whatever. Because <laughs> you know, you now you could mix and match these colors and you know, do your deep purples Can and we? pinks and um, oh, just, just throwing right. out other ideas. That is so, so good. Or which, which one's red? You could do a that rainbow that is so big. This is just part of it, you know. That, Like we'd say, sky's the limit, so that's all. This You're is... quiet as you're working. <laughs> I'm concentrating. <laughs> this is... Connie's asking about my family. I have a sister and a brother that live here in Minnesota and a sister in Phoenix. So I am... So I assume my sister is on? Ooh, that's dark. So in my family, there is one boy and three girls. In Tim's family, there is one girl, one and, girl four. and four boys. <laughs> so it's just kind of... That's not good. 
It's a little too it's dark. It's just fine. It's a little too dark. Oh, so what I can do, see, I, I'm getting this technique stuff down. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 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 Let's do a little bit in this corner just so you can put it together. It won't be too wet. Okay? Okay. Okay. So now you can see where he's going with this. He doesn't want any white spots. But you know you can because they can say I? in watercolor the key is to leave white spots. And oh. look how fun how this is bleeding into there kind of running Ooh, that is so you fun. can just see how you can do a whole lot of mixes with this now you may not actually be able to put yours together so let's just lay it down and then we'll put the finished card on so this is four different techniques of using this last one how are we going to do this we're going to wait for it to dry more. Okay. So I'm just not. going to hold it. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe I not. Can, maybe I can figure out my own technique. Okay. Maybe if he adds enough, <laughs> enough tape, it will stay. Is this empty? Um, no. No, but it's messed up. It's messed up. It's messed up. So you could use this. Okay. Use this. Mm. You know, you use whatever you have handy. That's kind of the, the rule of all this. Oh, the tiny red squirrels. Do, do we have tiny red squirrels, Tim? So they're really pine squirrels and they're nasty. Mm. Um, oh, so you get those. Uh -huh, that's interesting. Some people think that all squirrels are nasty. <laughs> um, so, but I don't know. There must be some reason. There must be some reason for that. And I don't know. So interesting. You guys know I, I posted quite a long time ago. We had such a squirrel problem with our bird feeders and what what fixed it was hanging a slinky. I'll repost a picture of that if anyone has, for, has forgotten, but oh my goodness, and. it took care of it. And they try to go up it and then they chicken out and go down and they are just hilarious to watch. So they've learned, no, they better just hang around under the bird feeder and get what draw, what Tim spills. <laughs> I spill some on purpose. Now this is the, the thing that Karen does so well. So are you saying you'd like me to do it? Yes. Okay. And I don't always do anything well on camera, you know? It's kind of the deal. Well, I, I don't have fingernails, so. Oh, excuses, excuses. Guess we don't need that hump in there. And meanwhile, you know, the advantage to this is giving it time to dry. Yes. As we're chatting about squirrels that was, that in was... life. Yeah, they are great entertainment. They are pretty fun to watch. <laughs> So Mackenzie has an idea for you if you want to add anything to our yeah. rockets. It's a great idea. You can take the, the aqua painter and just dress drip some of it. No. Oh no, well, he's he's done. It's his finished thing. It's so nice. We'll do it another time. Okay. No, it's, I think it's I all could, good. I think I could it's do it. It's all good. I and could, that's gonna be fun. I think I could do extra and actually ruin it. Okay. Okay. Sometimes knowing What's when front? to stop. Is this front? Um, let's see. Yes. No, this is front. Really? No, no, you're right. That's front. Okay. Um, I don't know. But we'll put that on afterwards because this needs to dry and be wiped off. But look how cool that is. And of course, now this could also have been cut out in the round and just do that on the inside and then decorate your card. You know, this is all just about possibilities. So I think this is fun. I'll have a little work to do before, or we have a little work to do before we can film it. I mean, take pictures and then clean up this mess. <laughs> We but work we today. appreciate you joining us today. And now when we're traveling, Kansas City, Missouri next Wednesday, Albuquerque over the weekend, and then we're going to be in Nogales, Tucson, and Phoenix. And I'll have the dates up there uh, before we leave. So probably on Monday, I'll put the different dates and places that we're going to be at those places. So we would love to, to see you if you're anywhere along the way or in those areas. Drop us a line because we just love to meet. We'll uh, treat you to a a cup of Joe. whatever, a cup of Joe at Starbucks. Starbucks. <laughs> so we always just list the Starbucks will be. So that's right. Oh yeah, these colors do. Uh, Brenda says these remind you of one of um, Tim's shirts. Ooh, ooh. Yes. You, you know, but I was just thinking it's an interesting thing because when you take like shirts or plaids or anything, you can get some fun color combinations for your cards. That that's a great idea. Speaking um, of shirts, can I say something? Mm-hmm. 
I am dressed in short sleeve. Would you look of, at this? I know. Instead I know. of my vest, my scarf, my hat, short sleeve, I'm pr practicing for next week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wondered why he was, because I never looked for like for next this. month. <laughs> I would love... And I got to... Becky, wanna... you're in Tucson. Wonderful. would love to see you. Um, uh, Lori said she tosses a gallon of seed below the deck and let the birds and critters take turns and no one bothers the rabbits. Interesting. You just, you know... It's just fun. It's just, just fun to have some little wildlife, no matter where you live, to watch out. So thanks, everyone. No, I'm not done. Oh, you're not done. I've got to make an apology. <laughs> I took a bunch of mail to the post office without any return addresses. <laughs> so I had to make a decision. So I just stay here and write the and address. And that is on. his job. He puts the labels on. I put the labels on. So the guy that was helping me gave me a magic marker. And it was kind of fat and it was kind of worn out. And so, all of for some of you, I don't know who you are, but <laughs> Karen sent something out, and I, I wrote Karen's return address in this great big ugly. <laughs> and I have this perfectionistic. Yeah, he came home and said it was so ugly. I said, oh. why did you just bring them home, put labels know, on, and dig them around? And he goes, Yeah, I should have done that. Um, he's he's I, always going to the post office. I have a perfectionistic streak, like like this. Really, it's not. Not good. But um, <laughs> I felt so bad. So I just actually kind of ruminated about it for, you know, until now when I do my confession. So, okay, so. <laughs> if you get one of these ugly ones, I apologize. Okay. In the meantime, go vote uh, for your favorite card on the website. And we'll see a bunch of you this weekend for our Poppy's Retreat. And on Monday night, we're still here. It's our last night here. So we're going to be showing a, a more cards using these fun coordinating things. So that'll be fun. So have a wonderful weekend. Thanks. Maybe I have more announcements. And remember, it's the last couple days to get the current card kit. And then we'll talk about the rest. Okay. So, good night, all. Good night. Good night. Good afternoon. Okay. <laughs> I'm not up there turning off yet. So oh, yes. A few of you are around, so that's good. I will let you know where we'll, where we'll be. And, uh, yeah, we'd love to meet you. Okay. S see you later. Bye. Bye.